Hey guys and welcome today to another Call of Duty video. But today I do have an announcement for you. Uh, obviously you guys know that I'm a Call of Duty partner this year. Uh, and I've partnered up with Call of Duty to make a little clan tag clash for you guys at home. A little challenge uh, so you can get involved in something and potentially win a prize. Now obviously many of you guys know I recently released a Call of Duty sniping montage uh, called Rebirth uh, on the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I kind of did it as like a little ode to how I started YouTube and like how I got into YouTube through my sniping and stuff. Well now it's your chance to try and hit clips for yourself. I tried to hit a ton of clips in one week only at the start of the game's launch. Uh, now it is your chance to try and hit some clips and show me what you've got. Now for this challenge, obviously some very, very simple rules. Uh, you can't submit any old clips to me, they have to be new. So to make sure that is the case, what we're gonna do is you have to have your clan tag as ZRKA. And I'll show you how to do that very quickly, you don't know how. I'm sure you guys know already anyway, but simply look, you go over here, go to barracks, go to identity, clan tag, and simply you just make it Z. R, K, and A, and done. Now you have to hit clips with your clan tag like that. So in a kill feed, it shows ZRKA and then your name. And then once you've hit some clips or you've hit your best clip or just a clip in general, then you can tweet it to me using the hashtag MWZerka. I'll put it on screen for you now and it'll be on the end of the video as well. Um, the hashtag MWZerka, all one word obviously is a hashtag. You tweet that to me and as long as your clip has ZRKR in the clan tag and you've used that hashtag, then you'll be entered into the competition and be a chance to win the prizes. And the prizes available are a PS4 Pro console for the first player, second gets a SCUF controller and an Astro A20 headset, and third gets a SCUF controller. So pretty decent prizes out here, you know? And the challenge itself starts right now. You can go literally from now at this point onwards all the way up until Sunday the 8th of December. That's Sunday the 8th of December. So from now until Sunday the 8th, Go out there, hit a ton of clips, send them to me, send them to me, spam them to me, whatever you do, whatever you do, whatever you do. Uh, and I'll go through them and I'll pick my favorites and then those people win the prizes. I think all in all, it's quite a cool challenge. I'm looking forward to seeing your clips and just getting back into the montage mode, you know? Just get back into sniping. Let me see your sniping skills. And on top of that as well, we have the biggest free content drop uh, so far in Call of Duty history. Look at this on screen right now. Look, we got Crash, Vacant and Shipment coming out. Got a new Grand War map. New gunfight maps, multiplayer modes, spec ops experiences, uh, and new weapons. But today is a good little segue here. So, obviously, some old school maps are coming back to Call of Duty, which would be Crash, Vacant, and Shipment. So, why not go back and check out some montages that may feature these maps? And let's just see, you know, let's just see what kind of clips we can hit on these maps. So, what I'm going to be doing is obviously reacting to old school Call of Duty montages. Maybe montages got me into Call of Duty itself or montage got me into YouTube itself, because there are some out there, or just ones that were around at the start of my whole YouTube career. I'm gonna show you them in case you didn't know them. Now I'm gonna start with the first one, which is from a guy and a friend of mine who, literally this montage I love and go back to all the time, and my whole montage I based off of this one, uh, purely because, and you'll, you'll see anyway, so Kyoe Extermination it's called, and you'll see 660k views, 9th of November 2009. Um, and I'm actually, I'm actually in this, by the way. I get killed by him because <laughs> we were in the sniper lobby at the time. If anyone actually watched my Rebirth montage, you'll know straight away that I got a lot of influence in this one because the songs are the same. But let's go. Kaiway Extermination. See, same song. Same edit style. Oofed. Oh. I know, I know it's singing along. That's the thing. I'm going to sing along to these whole montages. So you'll see the influence here, look. Same kind of style. Song, will, drop, go. Yeah! I should have done that on the screen. I missed out on saying there. I should have done that. Darn it. Okay, so here we go. We're on vacant. Back to the cow. And this is where I am, I believe. So just keep an eye on the bottom. Keep an eye on the bottom. Somewhere here. Wait, 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 it's coming, I think, I think I'm trying to run in, it's this one, that one, surely, there I am, look, way! wait, I'm going to celebrate getting killed, oh my god's sake, so back in the day we just just bowled about in like a sniper lobby with this 6v6 snipers, you both jump in parties of 6 and you would just try, and all you just try and hit clips basically, it was a great time, it was the easy way of hitting montage clips, but it worked, so it's good fun. See what I mean by the influence? You can see where it all comes from. Because like I said, this one, to me, it's one of the best Call of Duty montages of all time. Because it uses like 10 songs throughout it. 
done, 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 and done. Do, 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 do. Oh, I didn't do it. Why are you doing it that time? Sinking's all over the place, Kai. What are you doing, my friend? Back on bacon again? You can see, it's good. Look at the bloody, like, potato quality of this montage. What happened? And song change. Ooh. Bit of showdown. Well, I live there. And there. Uh, headshot! Imagine. Imagine. These are some great, great times. Some more vacant. We love vacant over here, apparently. Apparently, vacant is the one for getting in clips. And the thing is that these maps that will actually come out on the 3rd of December. So you have five days where you can hit clips. So you look out, there's some good spots on Baker where you can get a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah, a bit of Paramore. Because I got it where I want it now. Oof. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I haven't got sensitivity to do that anymore. I need to, I need to get it back up. My sensitivity is so slow these days. God, does it feel so good. I'm waiting for some clips on shipment and crash. What's going on? <coughs> okay. And the song change again. I can tell this this video is gonna get claimed, but oh well. Oh 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 oh, we're on crash. We're using AK-47, which is in the game as well, to be fair. And the plane headquarters. This clip's actually possible. No scope, no scope, no scope. Oh, we got Shipman. There we go, covered all three maps now. Bacon, Shipman and Crash are all in this montage. Shipman's gonna be hectic. That is like, such a hectic map. My God. All right, so we move on. Let's go, let's go to uh, I Blackouts XX Genocide V2, all right? Now, Blackouts is probably one of the first, I say, is that one of the first uh, YouTubers that I ever watched? Like, super, super early. Him or Grizz, probably. And I remember I loved the intro to this montage. I remember, like, working out how the hell do I edit like this? And now looking back on it, I'm like, it's so easy to do. But the watch. Wait is over. Genocide. I don't even get how to even get these clips. Critical level. Critical and the glass smashes. <laughs> Bounce. You only watch Step Up at a time. <laughs> he was already retiring in 2009. What's going on? <laughs> These videos are 10 years old, man. 10 years. Little drop in, look at that. Oh god, so this is recorded with a Dazzle, by the way, not a HTPVR, not an Elgato. I think called a Dazzle back in the day. It's from the standard quality. I'll just show you how old school this is. You can bounce with the cars. <laughs> Oof, that just looks cool. The vacant. Boom. Triple. I'm still waiting. You'll be the death of. As a as of before, and I've plugged it many times, I have a Call of Duty montage playlist, by the way, which is basically features this music like this all the time. And it's my favorite playlist on Spotify. Like I have used it for bloody working out all the time. Now I used to have a workout playlist and then my Call of Duty montage uh, playlist replaced it. So you want to check it out for yourself, just go onto Spotify and just type in ZRK uh, COD, or type in COD montage music. I'm sure you'll find it. If not, I'll try and get it down below if I remember. Yeah, follow me on Spotify. Why not? Zerk HD on Spotify. I make playlists all the time. I 
And he darts a TV again, but I can do that stuff. Try to find some unsuspecting kids who are just camping there. Bang! Bye bye. I'll spin around next to you. Remember just watching all these, like, and just so bad. Like this. You know how long it took to learn this? It's like a second story as well. It's so, so long to learn. It's just like Showdown. It's like a very, very popular map. Uh, to just hit clips on my next bit, right? Clear crash as well. Bang! Triple. I need to hit a triple on this button. How the hell do you get a triple? Right this clip right here I'm about to show you is potentially one of the reasons why I'm here today. So I emulated this and put like a Lloyd's TSB theme song over it uh, and Small Bean saw it and used it in a video. And it was like a starting point for me. One of my big like first break, so to speak. Shout out to your boy Small Beans. What a legend he is. Good luck. On my work, you bounce off the little oil thing here. And yeet it across the map, you know? You know what, I have to find that now. Surely it's somewhere. I found it. I need some little crappy editing as well to make the little uh, plus five cut bigger. Watch, ready? Look. Right, I've whacked it in slow-mo so we can hear that greatness. What is this? It's in 480p. Why is it in 480p? Here we go. Here we go. So he jumps. You bounce off here. You look across the map. And then you shoot. Remix. Now who would I be if I'm reacting to Koji Montage and not showing you your boy that is Grizz? Right, look. I mean, it says 2018, it's a re-upload. Oh, where's the original one? I guess he took it down and it got taken down. But this was a game changer for me. It's in 4x3, it opened by 16x9. 16x9 is widescreen, just in case you don't know. But yeah, he did the Matrix montage. And again, it's one of the first ones that really got me into, like, actually becoming a YouTuber. Because I was just baffed. So I was good at Call of Duty at the time, and I was decent at sniping. And then things like this inspired me to get even better and try and emulate what they were doing. It's like the earliest days of editing as well. And it's still actually pretty impressive. Look, my guy pulls it out of some TV screens in Core Duty. Even now in this very room. And then walks. He's holding, he's holding a stun grenade to do this, by the way. You're literally in uh, hardcore mode. And you're holding a stun grenade walking along. You edit in onto TV screen again. Has like, a dual wielding Desert Eagle. Runs up a wall. Goes upside down. I was, you know, as a kid, I was so baffed. I was like, oh my god, how have you done this? Unfortunately, no one can. Look at this editor. Way before it's time, you know. Opens up Firefox. Loads up his YouTube channel, hits play, and we spawn into the montage. Da -da -da -da. And this is this, this is a, like a saw remix. Oh my God, this song's epic as well. Da -da -da. That, that first clip was so unepic, even though it was epic. Oh, okay, that was like, okay, yeah, look. <laughs> the nostalgia that I am getting. I'm very curious to actually know if anyone else who's watching this video was around in these times. Because there's a very possible chance that if he was around these times, he was in sniper lobbies all the times, so I may have played with you. Because the community was so small back then, it was such a small amount of people. Do you believe that my being stronger or faster has anything to do with this my is so mind? different to anything today. In this place. Oh! Okay. I think this is like 2008, this montage. Yeah, the standards in this 
They're actually pretty low looking back on it. But this is like the start. This is where it all started. I feel like Grizz is the reason why like sniping exists to this extent. Like and do it. I don't know, I guess it's inevitable, but the reason why it got to where it was, like just like that phase clan and how it's been the past few years of like this crazy, crazy like throwing knives out of your arm and spinning around 35 times and pressing stun grenade and throwing a knife again. Like, this all started here. <laughs> loading. He was like, that's just recorded. The story ends. A loading screen off a game. You wake up in your bed. How do you do this? Whatever you want to be. You take the red. Is there a green? They must have a green screen. I think there was one in broadcast on COD Four. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. We were innovators at that time. <laughs> you had to innovate as much as you could. What an actual banger of a song. Oof, pod food. The maddest thing is, like, I'm looking at these lobbies and I can, most of the time, I can recognise the names of who he's playing with or he's, uh, who he's up against. I think he actually didn't play, this, he didn't play many sniper lobbies, though. If you look at this, he's playing with certain people, though. Like, he's playing with Six Sims uh, and a guy called VGI Dynamite, right? And I'll show you because that's just reminded me. That's what's reminded me of it. That Six Sims. No, not that one. There we go, this one, Bad Boys Jewel Taj. 10 years ago, on Top Notch Multimedia, uh, a channel owned by a guy called Operator Perry, who invented the whole quad thing. Oh my God. You don't know what I'm talking about, this is Operator Perry, and this is where we forced him uh, as a community to say quad again, so he stopped saying it uh, in his top five plays of the week. <laughs> what the fuck? Quad! <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it just seems so stupid now, but that was literally one of the best things. Oh my God. This is a massive, like, tangent here, right? Back in the day, he ran a, a contest where you had to say quad out in public, right? This killed me and Toby and my school, school friends for the longest time. This guy did it in his assembly in school, right? Look. Quad contest, high school assembly, 1.1 mil views, 2010. I dare myself for you, Perry. Quad! <laughs> it's the. Oi, oi, it's so anticlimactic these days. It isn't even that. I remember like, watching this, like, oh my god, this guy's a nut job. Like, how has he done this? I dare myself. <laughs> I dare myself for you, Perry. For you, Perry. Like, you don't even see anything, it's pixels. It's just pixels. Fine. You don't see anyone or anything. So here we go, anyway. After that tangent, Six Sins and VGI Dynamite, Bad Boys, Jewel Taj. And this was on Top Notch Multimedia, Media, which is a channel which kind of uploaded the best, like, Call of Duty montage at the time. And it was like a thing you aspire to get to. So in this day and age, it's like getting on Grime Daily or one of those kind of channels. If you're a music artist, you try and get yourself on these pages to get yourself out to a bigger platform. Because say if I had 100 subscribers, but this channel might have had like 50k subscribers at the time. So you want to try and get yourself on this channel. So this is what you'd aspire to. You'd aspire to make a good enough montage that you'd show it to them and they'd go, yeah, this is good enough to meet our standards and we'll put it on our channel. As long as you put the intro at the start, like this little circuit intro. But yeah, these two, I believe this montage was actually edited by Operator Perry and a guy called Evanix. But Operator Perry was like one of the best editors at the time in 2009. So early, early, early days. I remember watching this as well being like, this is ridiculous. I didn't understand how they recorded the cinematics at the start. This is still actually epic, to be fair. Early on, this is epic. Look, so it's just on the mission. In case you didn't realize. like a film. Bad boys for life. 
bad boys for life. That is a sick intro. Look at the potato quality. I can't see anything. What's even going on? Shane, his videos in age well. Which direction we should go? Oh, hey, that was a sick one as well. Look. Wait for someone to take our hands and lead the way. Oh, hey, that was a sick cinematic, you know, a little transition. There you go. It's that word art, but it was sick. Wake up, wake up. I've got this song on my playlist, here's Addison's on my playlist. What a banger. Yeah, it's a shame. This is aged. It hasn't aged that great because you can't. The potato quality. Imagine how much you'd get roasted with post quality these days. But that's what, that's what you had. You had to make do with what you had, and you had to record with a stand definition. It was so hard to actually record as well, it's so like temperamental. But now you get an Elgato, bang, plug it in, you're all good. I think at the time, this guy, NSL, this, this is on Top Notch Media, yeah, so he had, a, he had what was a HD PVR, Hop Arg HD PVR. Uh, and I remember this one coming out and he'd been like, okay, okay, you're about it. I think he's one of the guys that actually like convinced me, because I used to play with him as well, he actually convinced me to get uh, HDVR, which is where Zerker HD came from. So I upgraded to a like HD, so I need to make a whole new channel called Zerker HD. You had to have a USP back then, you know? And even that's still sick to this day, you know? Little flame, loads out your text, locks in with the music. See the difference instantly? HD. Look at this, look at the quality. It looks as good as today's quality. I think it's this intro that's epic, right? I'm pretty sure, yeah. I mean, I think it's what I love about this whole scene is it's like mad creative. Because everyone comes with different styles and their own like original thing in the edit process. And it's all so original at this time. So you catch the whole spawn process, showing that this is where we, I was spawned in, they spawned in, they're running across the road. And look where I'm about to go. I'm up here, he's running across the road. Well, 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 uh, unlucky my friend because you be dead now. See, I mean, all these montages had the same kind of style of music, other than the Matrix one. All these montages had the same style. Man, hang on, just deep that, just deep that. So that he jumps off it, he jumps off of the fridge, right? Chill on the fridge, jumps off it. No scopes, hit marker. Don't worry about it. Bang. No scopes again. Gets two of them in one shot. Shout out to all these lot, to be fair. Jenny, shout out to all these people. Reaps in darkness. Two other legends of the scene. I mean, I think it's, there's so many montages. I could, I could watch montages here for the longest time, like a super amount of time. It's been 45 minutes. I could do hours and hours and hours of reacting to stuff. But honestly, I still wouldn't cover all the names and people that I need to shout out in that whole process. Because there's so many people, there's literally so many. And I guess just to show you like a transitional phase that we went through a bit later in 2010, this is uh, a montage by a guy called Jazz uh, on COD4 Hardcore Headquarters, which is like a very popular game mode that came about because you didn't, you didn't get hit markers anymore. When you snipe someone, you used to always shoot and you get a little X and it doesn't kill them. Um, so everyone started playing Hardcore Headquarters because you was guaranteed to kill them as long as you shot them. Uh, so it also opened up a lot more guns to use, like Dragon Oven stuff as well. Uh, and this is where you'll see a different style of music started to get used. This is where the drum and bass came in. <laughs> this is where your boy Big Star comes in as well. Big Star had a great time. This kind of music that Big Star to use in his montages. It works. Look at what style you want to go for. This, this was the best game mode, I swear. I think they'll bring it back. Maybe they will for the culture. You might have to, you know. Oof! Oof! Go off. I mean, Dragon Off, you can use different guns. You wouldn't be able to use because they shouldn't work. 
and core the sniper montages. So yeah, these are the kind of clips you'll be hitting. If you're doing this clan tag clash, remember ZRKA in your which camera I'm looking at? This one. <laughs> ZRKA in your clan tag. Tweet at me with uh, or tweet at me or tweet it in general using hashtag MWZerka. And yeah, just show me what you got. So this is the kind of stuff you'll be hitting. Dun, dun, dun. Are you gonna line up? No. The hours spent going into these montage right? you really underestimate how long it takes to get these because you've got to play for so long just to hit all the clips. Oh god, messing the volume too much here. You need to start collecting your folder, making it bigger and bigger and bigger. Doink! <laughs> Alright, what's a banger of a song? that copy of a pistol that's what that's what hardcore headquarters allow you to do destination oh what's a banger of a song I can't watch anymore. I need to go play. It's making me want to play that badly. But yeah, anyway, like I said, if you want to enter yourself for a chance to win those prizes, um, like I said, just go out, get sniping on Call of Duty Modern Warfare, check out the new maps when they come out on the 3rd. Make sure your clan tag is ZRKR all week. If you do hit something, make sure you tweet it at me or just tweet it in general using the hashtag MWZerka. And I'll go through them and I'll pick my favorites and decide the winners. I'm just excited to see what you guys can get anyway. I'm, to, I'm going to jump on the game and I'm going to bang the clan tag on itself as well. And I hope to see some of you guys on the game as well. So yeah, uh, if you want to see me react to my own actual montages uh, for video as well, because I've gone like six or seven or eight montages I've been involved in or even more, do let me know. Leave a like on the video and let me know down below in the comments. So let me know by tweeting at me. Um, and yeah, on top of that, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. I want to see more reaction type videos like this as well, let me know. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.